I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun with tally mark subtraction. Let's start with a rhyme. Three itsy bitsy spiders climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed two spiders out. How many spiders are left in the spout? Yes, one itsy spider is climbing up the spout. Did you notice that our rhyme was a subtraction problem? We started with three spiders going up the water spout. Then two spiders were washed out. Then we had the question, how many spiders were left in the spout? We started with three spiders, then we took away two spiders, and we're left with one spider. Let's do some more subtraction problems. What if we had four spiders climbing up the spout? One, two, three, four. And what if only one spider fell out of the spout? How many spiders would we have had left? One, two, three spiders left in the spout. This is a subtraction problem. Drawing spiders takes a long time, but we could do this subtraction problem with tallies instead. Instead of drawing four spiders, we could draw four tallies. One, two, three, four. One tally mark to represent each spider. Then, when one spider falls out, we just mark one of our tally marks away. That still makes the same subtraction problem. We're still left with one, two, three. It's just a little easier to draw. Our subtraction problem started with four spiders. We minus subtracted one spider, the one that fell out, and that equals, how many did we have left? One, two, three. Three spiders left. Four minus one equals three. Let's do some more subtraction using tally marks. When we're subtracting, we're taking away. We end up with less. This is our subtraction symbol. One way that we can subtract is using tally marks. Our first subtraction problem is five minus two. We can start with five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Five tally marks. How many tally marks are we taking away, minusing, subtracting? Those all mean the same thing. How many less tally marks should we have in our answer? We start with five, then we take away two of them. Let's cross out two. One, two. We took away two tally marks. How many tally marks are left? Let's count. One, two, three. Three are left. Five minus two equals three. Are you ready to do another subtraction problem? This one is six minus four. We start with six tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
then we minus take away four of them. One, two, three, four. How many tally marks do we have left? Yes, one, two. We have two tally marks left. Two. Six minus four equals two. Let's do another one. Nine minus three equals what? Let's start with nine tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tally marks. How many are we going to take away? Yes, three of them. One, two, three. How many tally marks are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six left. Nine minus three equals six. One more. We start with seven. Seven tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we take away, minus, subtract one tally mark. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tally marks left. Our answer is six. Seven minus one equals six. Thank you for doing tally mark subtraction with me today and come back again for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by making tally marks with wiki sticks and subtract three minus two is one. Watch my video and learn to make a counting box. 10 sports balls minus four is six. And there's always printable resources available at my teacher store at teacherspayteachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe.